Hi guys, my name is Henry Tenby. About a week or so ago, I was going to my boot camp, my regular Saturday morning boot camp. And as I was getting out of my car, one of the people from my boot camp immediately asked me a great question. She said, hey, Henry, what do you think about Boeing aircraft and their doors falling off? And I actually didn't have to give the question too much thought because I already had formed a very solid answer to this question and I'm gonna share it with you. And I guess you have all seen all the media uh, fallout that's uh, been presented over the last several months because of these uh, Boeing door issues. And there has been an awful lot of what I call minutia out there explaining what's going on and oh, giving all kinds of little excuses and reasons and explanations and production line floors and bolts and this and that. And that is all minutia. Before this was all exploding in the newspaper, the answer to the question that she asked me was already well formulated in my mind, and I'm gonna share it with you right now. So basically, uh, back in the 19, well, 70s and prior, Boeing had a completely different philosophy. Their whole raison d'etre, the reason for existence, was to build safe airplanes. That was the primary focus. And the ability to generate a profit uh, was a secondary feature. So first and foremost, the company produced safe airplanes. And within that context, the company produced profit. Uh, what's happened over the last, I guess, 30 or 40 years is these two philosophies have switched. So now Boeing's main focus, if you will, is profitability, maximize shareholders' profit. And within that context, their secondary focus is building safe airplanes. So these have flip-flopped over the last 30 or 40 years, these focuses, and the company's culture is driven by this inverse proportional relationship to safety and profitability from what it was in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. You probably remember back in the day, well, certainly if you're my age, uh, in the 70s, Boeing had a tagline and it was on, they produced stickers that said, if it's not Boeing, I'm not going. These stickers were on pilot brain bags and it was a main marketing push. I mean, Boeing built safe airplanes. First and foremost, secondary, they maximize profit within that context. Today, flip-flopped. Building airplanes is secondary to maximizing shareholder profit. And of course, that all comes with uh, maximizing bonuses, uh, pay packets for senior executives. These are what I perceive to be the more important things overriding Boeing's modus operandi over the last 30 years, as opposed to building the safest airplane that can be built. So uh, again, if you go back to the development of the 747, it all had to be done safe. Boeing spared no expense. They spent uh, the equivalent of billions of dollars. They gambled the company financially. The whole company's success was pinned on the Boeing 747 and its success. They would fail if they were not successful in building a safe airliner. Uh, not, it wasn't the other way around that their focus was to become a billion dollar company and super, super, super valuable on the stock exchange. It, that wasn't the focus. The main focus was building the best airplane, the safest airplane they could, and then the profits would follow as, as they would be able to, maintaining the utmost in safety. So the, the company's culture, it's evolved over the last 50 years. And of course, this goes back to the 727, the 707. Uh, remember, in the 1950s, prior to the 707, Boeing was primarily a builder of military aircraft. Even the KC-97 uh, four-engine uh, propeller transport was an evolution of the B-29 bomber. So with the advent of the 707, which is a jetliner, it was built as a military transport that could dual purpose as an airliner. So the company bet the, their entire existence that they could develop a safe jetliner. Profits followed because of their success in addressing the ability to have the safest airplane in the sky. That thought process is something that hasn't tra translated into the company's uh, raison d'etre 
in the year 2024. It's become perverted, if you will, to the pursuit of maximum shareholder profit and maximum compensation packages for the, uh, for the senior staff. So hopefully that will change. Hopefully that will be corrected because it is a great company. Boeing has built fantastic airliners, continues to build fantastic airliners, but they just have to refine their focus. So I just wanted to share with you my view on what has happened in answer to the question, Henry, why do Boeing doors fall off their aircraft? So I wonder if you agree with me, perhaps you disagree with me, of course, which is totally okay. And I certainly look forward to seeing your comments in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed my video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you are discovering my channel here on YouTube for the first time, hit that subscribe button and you will be a subscriber to the channel. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching my video and I'll see you on the next show. Thanks guys, bye for now.